Well, it seems that our mild fall is about to come to an end. The Weather Service has issued statements indicating a significant snowfall event. Our Josh Peterson found out that the area is more than ready. Looking around, it's hard to believe that our unseasonably mild fall is going to come to an abrupt end this Friday. At the Bemidji Public Works facility, massive piles of salt and sand are ready to be spread on Bemidji's roadways. Well, like I say, we've got the sand, we get ready with the sand and salt, we get all our trucks ready, all the ice control equipment ready, the loader's got to get ready, the blades or motor graders got to get wings and standards put on. For MnDOT, it's no different. The mild fall has provided plenty of time to make sure everything is ready for the first big snowfall event. We've had a little time to get ready for this, so all of our trucks are well maintained. We have all the plows hooked up, ready to go. Our salt piles are full, sand piles are full. We're well prepared for this event. When treating the roads, each snowfall can be different and require different types of treatment. In the warmer weather, we'll use a salt brine. It's just the water and salt mixed together, which activates faster. And as long as the temperatures are warmer, it'll actually work quicker than just plain salt. It's been a long time since our last snowfall, meaning many of us will be out of practice for driving in wintry conditions. For MnDOT, it's extremely important to be safe and keep a safe distance from snow plows. Uh, the biggest thing we ask is that you give the plow some room. Uh, we can't do our job if uh, we have traffic in front of us. Um, we'd like you to plan ahead. Uh, if you don't need to be on the road on these major events, please plan ahead. With the piles of salt and sand ready and the plows all gassed up, all that's needed now is the snow. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. If a snow emergency is called, residents are asked to move their vehicles to the appropriate side of the street and to pay attention to the signs on snow emergency roads. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.